Hello friends, in the last two lectures we have learned about uh, graph and types of graphs, right? So in this lecture, uh, we're going to see some, some more definitions, some more important definitions uh, in this chapter, okay? So let us move to the topic. So some more basic definitions we're going to learn. Okay, so in that, the first definition is tree. You need to understand what a tree means. So, okay, I'll just write it for you. So, this is the definition for tree. It is a connected subgraph in which all the nodes are present and there exists no closed path. See, it is a connected subgraph. We already know what you what what actually connected means. That means if a node should have access to each and every node in the graph, right? So we know the meaning of connected. Then what do you mean by subgraph? Uh, you know the meaning of connected, and what do you mean by this subgraph? Subgraph is nothing but uh, a part of a graph. It's just a part of a graph. Part of a graph is called subgraph, right? So it is just a part of a graph in which all the nodes are present and there exists no closed path. See. Okay, first of all, let us consider an example of, let us, let us uh, assume a graph here. So, I'll take the same graph. So, this is my graph, right? No, no, no. I'll just assume one graph. This is some random graph. Okay, this is my node A. This is my node B. This is my node C. This is my node D. And I should mention current directions, right? Uh, I don't have, I have nothing to do with a simple non-oriented graph. So I'll mention current current directions here. This is my current direction. This is my current direction, and this is I'm just randomly assuming all this. Okay, these are these are my current directions. And one, two, three, four. There are four nodes here, and I'll name each and every branch. Okay, for the for my convenience, I'll name each and every branch. One, two, and let us assume this as three, and this is this will be my fourth branch, and this will be my fifth branch. I've, and I forgot to mention the current direction here. I'll assume it this way, and this will be my sixth. Okay, this is a basic graph. This is the graph. Okay, so what do you mean by tree? It is a connected subgraph in which all the nodes are present. That means every node must be present. Every node must be present, and and all the nodes should be connected together and each node should have access to each and every node okay and then there exists no closed path and there should not be any closed path okay this is my tree uh, this is my graph from this graph how many trees i can possibly draw let us see okay so see i'm just every every node should be present right so i'm first marking every node here a b c d a b c d okay See, I'm saying, okay, I'll just mention the current directions even. Okay, and okay, this is my third branch. Okay, and this is my second branch, and this is my third branch. So, friends, I'm I'm calling it as a tree. Am I right? Is it is it really a tree? Let us see. See, each and every branch, each and every node is present, right? And I can travel from A to B, A to C, and A to D. So there is an B to A, B to C, forget about directions, current directions, okay? But there is a path between B and A, right? B to A, B to C, and B to D, okay? I can even travel from, uh, I can even travel from B to any other, any node in the graph, right? And B to C, B to, so C to B, C to D, and C to A, so... And it is a part, and it is a part of this graph, okay? It is a sub, it is a part of this graph. Okay, so there exists every node and there exists connection between every node and it is a part of this main graph. So, absolutely, it is a tree. So, and even, and there is no closed path. That is the main point. The important point is here, no closed path, right? And see, I'm calling e even this as tree. This is my A, this is my B, this is my C. Every node should be present. So, okay, this one and yeah, this and this right current direction this is my sixth branch and this is my second branch and this is my third branch see every node is present and there exists connection between each and every node and there is no closed path and even this is my graph i call even this as my graph right sorry tree 
this is my a this is my b this is my c and this will be my d and current direction this is 1 this is 3 or this is 4 right so c am i right this is my is this a graph is this a tree yes of course see there is no closed path first of all first and foremost thing is there is no closed path and each and every node is present and there is and there exists an axis between each and every node so even this is my so the branches 1 3 4 forms my forms a tree and even here the branches 2 3 6 forms a tree and even here the branches 2 3 5 forms a tree so i can not only three i can draw many number of trees for a single graph so how many number of trees can i draw for a graph uh, is it three or four or what i can draw n number of n number of n number of trees for a graph so it depends on graph it depends on graph right so let us generalize the ex ex expression okay so the number of trees number of trees can be formed can be drawn for a given graph is n power n minus 2 where n is equals to number of nodes so here number of nodes are 4 right 1 2 3 4 so 4 power 4 minus 2 is equals to 4 power 2 is equals to 16 so 16 number of trees can be formed for this given graph okay so yeah that's this is a generalized expression for number of graphs okay so yeah that is that is all for that is all about tree okay that is all about tree so you ca you ca you cannot find more information about tree anywhere else other than this okay so let us quickly move to some, uh, one other uh, one other definition okay so uh, we got to know what what is a what is a tree right so now let us quickly learn something called co tree or complementary tree shortly it, it can be called as co tree so I'm considering the same example okay so what do you mean by co tree okay so so to, to simply define it okay uh, complementary com, co tree is nothing but complementary tree right that means it is opposite of tree that means uh, from a given graph see you keenly observe from a given graph you take out the tree you take out the tree the one which is in your hands is the tree and the one which is left on the paper is nothing but your co tree i hope you understand i i repeat see from for, from a given graph this is a given graph right this is a given oriented graph so i need to draw some co trees here so see i'm first i'm picking i'm i'm dragging the tree from this graph okay i'm taking the tree the one which is in my hands is tree and the one which is left here is co tree see i'll see first of all this is my graph right you very well know this is my second branch this is my third branch and this is my okay sorry this is my sixth branch fifth branch i guess this is my fifth branch and this is my third branch right this is a tree you very well know how you got this right in the in the previous uh, session i was i explained this right so this is a tree and the remaining part see this dashed part is nothing but your co tree I hope you understand so if 2 comma 3 comma 5 branches forms a tree then the remaining part remaining part in the sense of 1 comma 4 comma 6 branches forms a co tree see so now how you can define it you cannot write uh, when you uh, you cannot write an examination like uh, the one which is in my hands is tree the one which is left on the paper is co tree right so how you can define it so co tree oh, see i'm writing here see it is a subgraph which which is formed after the removal of tree this is how you'll define co tree so let us consider some more examples okay so for the same given graph i can i can draw many number of co trees see uh, first example is this one and second example is okay this is my tree right you you remember this is my tree and this forms the dashed part forms my co tree so here if this is 1 this is 5 this is this is 3 this is 4 right then 
my 2 comma 5 comma 6 forms this is 2 this is 5 this is 6 6 the branch 2 comma 5 comma 6 forms co-tree and like likewise many numbers see if this is see this is a and this is b and this is c and this is d a tree should a tree should have each and every node and they must be connected right so this forms my tree c every node is connected here and every node has access to each and every node so this forms my tree and the remaining part so this will be my code tree again likewise uh, many examples you can frame so what are the possible number of how many possible number of code trees can be formed can be drawn for a given graph this is a question so c for the above example, for the given example, uh, we found that 16 number of 16 number of trees can be formed, right? That means, see, if you are pulling 16 times, if you are pulling out 16, if, if you are pulling 16 times, if you are pulling out trees, and how many co trees would be left on paper? 16, right? If you are pulling out trees for the 16 times, how many how many co trees will be left on paper? 16. So. Um, the number of co trees can be formed for this expression for this example is 16 even either so uh, the number of possible co trees the expression for number of possible co trees is also n par n minus 2 where n is your number of nodes so here number of nodes are 4 so 4 par 4 minus 2 4 par 4 is equals to sorry 4 par 2 that is equals to 16 see uh, some important uh, I'm making this video a bit longer so please have patience this is very important okay see a tree has to satisfy two essential conditions right uh, one is it should not form a closed path and other is the nodes should be connected okay the tree has the tree has to satisfy these two essential conditions but I did not mention any essential condition to be satisfied by a co tree am I right I did not mention so a co tree may be a co tree may form a closed path or may not form a closed path see here uh, in this example the co tree formed a closed path the dashed line the dashed region is a closed path right the co tree formed a closed path here but here here either here it formed a closed path here it did not form a closed path see it was like this it did not form a closed path here so a co tree may form a closed path or may not form a closed path uh, it don't have any essential conditions to be satisfied okay you please um, you please remember these points a number of possible trees or co trees is common expression for them n par n minus 2 right so let's talk something about this n par n minus 2 is it valid for all the cases is this expression can be used for all the graphs to find out number of co trees and trees absolutely not see in order to use this expression the, your tree or co tree should satisfy some conditions okay this expression is not valid for all the cases this expression is subjected to couple of conditions okay if the given graph so your, your graph must satisfy these these two conditions if a given graph is going to satisfy these conditions then only this expression n power n minus 2 can be used then what are those conditions so condition number one graph should be connected this is my first time important condition that means access from one node to any other node okay and second condition is there shouldn't be any repeated branches repeated branches so this is a new word for you what do you mean by repeated branches huh so see I've considered one example you please pause the video and draw this so for this network or for this circuit uh, I'm I'm going to draw so this is my a b c d right I'm going to draw a graph so you very well know how to draw a graph yeah I've drawn it quickly I've drawn it sooner so this is my a b c d a b b c and c b d and a d and c d and this so c between any pair of nodes between any pair of nodes there is only a one branch right between a and b only one branch b and c only one branch a and c only one branch a and d only one c and d only one b and d only one you can see even here okay between any pair of branches any pair of nodes there is only one branch what if i have some 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 other resistor connected like this between c and d i'll have another curved line or straight line like this right so this is your repeated branch got it 
if there are two branches between a pair of node then it is nothing but your repeated branch it rep if repeated branches are present so okay this is your repeated branches this is your repeated branch right so if repeated branches are present does it mean your graph is invalid absolutely not it, it just make your graph a bit complex that's it it is not at all invalid okay even if the repeated branch is present your graph is absolutely valid so in that case what do we do what do you do the conditions to be satisfied by a graph is it, sh it should be connected and it should not have no repeated branches right it should it should not have repeated branches right so if there are repeated branches and if it is not connected uh, what is the expression how do, how can you calculate the number of nodes and number of number of trees and number of co-trees so that means your n power n minus 2 is not universal expression it cannot be used everywhere it, it can be used only when both the both the conditions are satisfied right so what is the universal expression so now i'm gonna write a universal expression to find out number of trees and number of co-trees okay universal expression so that is your determinant of ir into this is not dot into ir transpose this is your i okay determinant of ir into ir transpose where ir is equals to reduced incident incidence matrix okay when both the conditions are not satisfied you can use this expression to find out number of trees and number of co-trees you, you can use it everywhere okay um, irrespective of the conditions you can use this expression everywhere to find out number of nodes and number of sorry number of trees and number of co-trees okay i hope you you, have, you you learned something in this lecture and thanks for watching this video with a lot of patience sorry for making this video a bit longer i'm lagging i'm lagging time so i hope you like this lecture thank you so very much